Always a good idea. Yeah, do, do the whole thing in an English accent. The whole thing in an English accent. I can do that. <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> Not it's a problem. Hold. It's very slow. It's starting here. to feel. Okay, here we go. Good, Lou. Let him show you Moscow. Oh. He wants him a nipple. Um, yeah, hot tattoo. This is the test. There we go. On the test. top there. So, tap. You can see it. Test, 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 test. Is test. that new? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Hold. What, what are Ooh. we doing? He's I was showing Lou my nipple. But I got it tattooed the other day. Yeah. Oh. It wasn't fun. Oh. It kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> but, um, after a while, you just, just kind of suck it up. But, uh, but you kind of have to. Yeah, <laughs> There's no way around your paying for it, so. What are you going to do? I'm just sitting there like, all right, I'm paying this guy to stab me in the nipple with a needle for five hours. This is great. I'd much rather be doing other stuff. Checking, but, checking, testing, loose like sides. Like, like, tell a story. Tell a story. Just anything. Do you have a tattoo? Hmm? No. No I don't tattoos. have any tattoos. I'm too picky. It would take way too long for me to like get a tattoo because it's very, very picky. And it's going to be in my body. It has to be specific. Mean something. Has some substance to it. Not just like here. Like, um, you know, like put just a chicken on the bottom of my knee. <laughs> Why? Because a cock below your knee. Yeah. Like, dumb shit. Like, I'm, like you. Would have already what played. other accents do you do? He does a pretty good Russian one, I think. <laughs> Don't you? Okay. Still Doesn't working listen. on the Russian. <laughs> yeah. I could be from Hillcrest. Definitely want more bass. Checking, checking, checking. How's the sound? You guys hear me? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Checking, checking, checking. Test, test, test! Oh my goodness. Why are you down? so angry? I was just going for the worst case. I'm, I get excited. We'll see. We're not going to ask you those kinds of questions. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you can put the drum head back. Is this unlocked or no? Austin Powers. I, I, I it's Austin yeah, Powers just, and Harry Potter that help you. Did you see it? Just on repeat for like a week straight and then you won't be able to stop talking about them. This is how Harry it goes. Potter. I've got Brooke doing it now, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Ready. All right. So, this is Shatter the Moon. So, tell us what is the name, what is behind the name Shatter the Moon? Tell us a little bit about the name. Oh, a little bit. A little bit. Only tell a little us, bit. Okay. Tell us a lot about the name Shatter the Moon. The name is really funny. It came out of nowhere. We were just kind of throwing ideas back and forth. And someone said shatter, and we were like, no. And then Andy said, I like moon. And we were like, shattered moon. And we were like, nah, I need something. And I think Lou said, shatter the moon. And we were like, yes. Yeah, you said something. I forgot what moon thing you put in there. Like Originally, deliver the moon, or something like that. Something like that. Or yeah, it had it. to do with something with the ground, or like underneath the moon, or some shit like that. Like that. And I came up with shattered. Yeah. Just for like a simple name, and then I got fucking shot down. <laughs> and then um, he came up with something, and I'm just like, shatter the moon? And then as soon as that happened, like, yeah, that's something we'll go with. And after that, it just kind of grew into like this story that we have. Like, we just started just getting this idea of just actually doing more of a concepty type of album as opposed to just making music and just, oh, here's another song, you know, like a another band. band. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, um, but I, I, I had watched a video, this actually started when I watched a video of a documentary, of, I think it was Bring Me the Horizon, I believe, and I told you about it, maybe, and you're like, oh, yeah, they do all this stuff with stories, and I don't know, whatever it was. Bring, bring Me the Horizon or Coheed? No, it wasn't Coheed, it was, I think it was Bring Me the Horizon. Okay. It was one of those bands with that kind of name, I don't know, August Burns, right? I don't know, one of those, I don't know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> in the elevator. <laughs> but it was something like that. And then... Uh, so then I brought it to these guys with that idea. And, and the story thing sort of came out of, where did that come from? Oh yeah, we were inspired by this poster that you see there. Um, Zach was very, probably inebriated one day, one night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's that's our main character, or at least the inspiration for our main character of the, of the story. Uh, her name is, can you tell her name? Not tell her? her name is Vagaya. <laughs> Vagaya. Vagaya. Hmm. Yes, so, uh, which was a play on Gaia, you know, Mother Earth, and of course, vagina, because it's funny. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we put it, just put it together, and it just <laughs> made sense. So, uh, and then that sort of spawned the, the sci-fi aspect of this whole thing. Yeah. So we have, we have Zach, who is the star. You're the singer. Are you all of a sudden decided player. to sing? <laughs> you are the bass player, but it's your voice oh, behind nice. the story, okay, right? It's okay, I guess. It's the <laughs> bass player who we talked into singing. Pretty much. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the reluctant singer. <laughs> so you are the voice and the bass, and then we have Boo that is guitarist. Guitarist, and then we have Andy behind the drums. That's right. I'm also the mastermind. I'm the controller, the guy with the strings. No, Puppet I'm, master. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the lead arranger. There you go. <laughs> and when did your when did you guys form? Oh, uh, geez, yeah. This was kind of like well, this band kind of like morphed from another band that we had because previously we we're in a, a different band was more straight. What would you call it? Just rock, Just kind of like rock. alternative type of sound. And um, our, one of our, our singer at the time took like a hiatus. And um, I'll go back into that story again. But um, <laughs> and one day we were like practicing, like we were just continuing to practice while she was on her hiatus, just coming up with music and all this stuff. And I had a riff I've had forever, for a long time. And I love the riff. And we used to always jam on it when me and Zach were in the band previously. And so I started playing this riff and I'm just playing through it. And then Annie walks in. He goes, Who's that? And I'm like, oh, it's my riff. He's like, that better fucking be your riff, because that's awesome. <laughs> so then after that, like, we need to make more songs like that. So we kind of, like, changed our sound from that and kind of coming up with new music, stuff that kind of fits our style. So then our singer was trying to make up, like, lyrics to it. And, like, she came, she was back from, like, doing, like, a, she was trying to shoot a movie, um, doing, like, show tunes. So, like, her vibe was very different from what we were trying to do. So then there was just kind of a mutual agreement of like us just parting ways with her and us because it was just wasn't clicking and she wasn't feeling it either. So it was cool. We're still cool with her or whatever. But after that, we just kind of got our sound. And well, how long ago was that? Three Two years ago? ago? Two? Yeah, it was just before, just before COVID. Yeah. So, so when, when she left. Yeah, so, when she left, yeah. Yeah. So, so this band's been like a few years going now, roughly? The three of us have been together like three years. Yeah. Just over three years. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the the origin. These guys played together way back when. We were older yeah. Years. And then three years ago, summer three years ago, they posted an ad looking for a drummer because their old drummer left for something I don't remember what. So then I saw it and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to play music again. I'll join a band and, or I'll go try it out. So um, so I went and auditioned for these guys. And uh, Lou was not, not nice to me at all. He was very grumpy that day. <laughs> oh, it's because, really? well, my job at the time, well, my position at my job at the time was very stressful. Like, so having to, like, get off of work, drive out to Vegas to go practice. Plus, I've auditioned, did, did auditions so many times. I fucking hated auditions. I hate doing them. <laughs> and I hate, like, you know, going to them and then having to judge. And not only that, it's like, you know, it wasn't being a dick to him, no, even though he assumed <laughs> I was. It's just the, my demeanor. Like, I'm very quiet. I'm not much of a people person. So like, you know, when even when it comes to music, I don't move around a lot, like everybody gets free and loosey. Like I just, I like to just kind of um, observe and take it in as opposed to, you know, like, oh yeah, this fucking talks are great. And like I just take it in, it's like, oh, okay, I like this about it and blah, blah, blah. But like with him, I was just, it was just one of those days where I just had to get off work, come straight to practice to audition another drummer, which we went through like two, like three or four of them prior to that. So I was like, okay, another one. I'm like, all right, cool, he was good. But like, I, my emotions don't come out because I'm just kind of like dead. I'm like, I'm fucking just dead for the day. So he immediately thought I was a dick. <laughs> so, no, I, I just thought like, well, he didn't like me. Okay. That didn't go well. Uh, yeah, no, I, I just assumed it was because auditioning people sucks. We learned that when we did Singers yeah. last winter. And it's like, wow, this is so painful. That was yeah. just last winter. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, welcome, to the to well, welcome to the show, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lock it out of your mind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that was that was rough too. But when you love to play music, you kind of deal with stuff. Yeah, you just, yeah. just put up with it. Yeah. But yeah, no. So that that happened, and then uh, and then I joined the band, and then it morphed into what it is now. Half of the time, we're all kind of hard rockers more than we were that kind of music that the band originally was. Yeah. Um, 
so it just sort of happened when I came in, I played a little harder than the other guy, like a little more heavy style music than the other guy, and it just sort of turned. So yeah, it just clicked. Yeah. So that song he's talking about, we'll let you guys play on your show, people. It's called Slip Space. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good song. It's a great riff. I love that riff. You were looking for a singer. How many, how many singers did you go to before you decided that Zach was the one? Like five. Yeah, I think it was five. Went through like five singers, just trying to figure out, figure out if they were. Like, there was a few that like were okay, but it just it's one of those things, especially with your sound. Like you know what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. At least you know it's the right fit when you hear it. And each time it's like. There was potential, but it wasn't like something that grabbed us. Like just like that's a guy, or like oh that's what we need. Mm -hmm. So after a while, we're just kind of like, like I don't know what we're gonna do, and we're just thinking about it. And then Andy just like, hey Zach, just <laughs> nudge nudge. Why don't you try? Yeah. Give it a shot. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, I remember for like the first three months, I was just like, why am I doing this? <laughs> he didn't suck, but there was potential there. You can tell, like Zach signed background for a lot of stuff in the past, and so it was, you know, you can tell he had something. Yeah, you know, but it was uh, unrefined. For the moment. Right. I always knew he had potential, but I never like thought he would want or could front a band. To be honest. Well, it's all in the timing. We knew. Right. Because he was incredibly frustrated with 
auditioning singers, so it was a perfect time to like, talk to them. <laughs> <I was. laughs> so well, do you want to listen to another singer or be the singer? Right. right. So how do you feel about it now? Um, I'm warming up to it. Uh, out of the three songs that we've already recorded, I really like two of them. Um, and I'm really looking forward to these, these new ones we're right. doing coming mm -hmm. up later this month, I think. And I, I'm, I'm excited to uh, give it a redo in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> that was a learning experience for him, for sure. It uh, was. Writing, writing melodies, vocal melodies, lyrics, and trying to play bass all at the same time is a lot of work. Yeah, it's tough. Well, so lighting and running the audio rig that we have, like right. oh, wow. <laughs> you guys do it all, huh? We're doing. We're trying to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, this, this whole concept band is uh, it's a lot of work. Plan for like a stage show and to try to make a name for ourselves. So like be different than all the other mm. bands in town. And right. Try to like outclass them if we can. So we're putting a lot of effort and work into the uh, stage show, and costumes, and lighting and sound and everything. So it's gonna be like a. Sci a hard rock sci-fi Broadway show. <laughs> Musical. Yeah, nice. I'm not a fucking like dancer. I'm just like no, like not a fucking dancer. You don't dance, we can't dance. There's no choreography. I watched the video and it was amazing. And there yeah. was dancing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Who did that video? Did you guys do that video? Yes, it was us and uh, a friend of mine. Shout out Josh, but yeah, oh, Josh. Nice. who did the camera work and stuff. But um, yeah, that was like a, little, a lot of our ideas and stuff. I mean, it was a little do-it-yourself project, kind of. Originally, I was gonna, I was gonna do it. I'm like, oh, this is a ton of work. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I was gonna put cameras up and just edit it to later and figure it out, kind of like you guys have, just random cameras around the room. Right. But I was like, oh man, that's gonna take me forever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we asked a friend of mine, Josh, to come in and help us and uh, yeah so yeah, that's how that came about. It turned out really good. It did. Yeah. It was so Thank good. You. So <laughs> good. You like it. Yes. <laughs> so she also loves the song that you hate too. Most, most people do. That's no. like everybody's favorite. Yeah. That is my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite. What? Which one is like it? So I like, I like, do you know what part that I like the best? I kept that in there <laughs> just for you. I hope you know that. <laughs> oh my gosh it's so good. I'll have to. Yeah, I had to talk him into that. Like, I was like, I don't know. Because I think that was, it might have been my idea to like do stuff like that, more theatrical vocals. Like, yeah. So it's not all the same. Yeah. And he didn't want to do it. <laughs> and, then, and then he said that you really liked Isn't it at one time, and I'm like, all right, I'll keep it. You, you should just show Joanne what I'm talking about. I just know. Do it right now. I'm so curious. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> the jazz hands are important. You got to sell it. <laughs> All part of the choreography. Yeah, it's, it's be, I don't know how I'm gonna do it while playing bass. Maybe just like, <laughs> well, I could do it. I mean, it's an old, it's an open pedal, so you could just. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll hit those you got it. hands on you got it. So, how do you write music? I mean, how does this happen? How does how do you write it and then you remember it? Because I hear that you don't write your music. Down. I don't remember it either. <laughs> yeah, we, we've lost many things because of that. Uh, so now I, I have to get on track. Like hit record. Let's, 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 we'll just save everything so we have we have a record of what we've yeah. written. But it's not like literally writing. It's well, well no, I got a book. Oh. I have like a letter notebook. Yeah, for his lyrics and for stuff. For your lyrics. Yeah. 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 When it comes down to like writing, like uh, like instrument wise, it's. I mean, for me, I tend to like remember a lot of my stuff unless. Mm -hmm. Which, like, for them, they could probably contest this as well. Is um, I write sometimes weird, like rhythms, and like to me they sound normal, like because like everything like it's called a polyrhythm. So like ha half the time I'll put like um, like downbeats or notes in weird in between spots, but like if you tap your foot, it'd still be in time. But for like them, I always fuck with them every time. And it's not intentional. It's just like how I write and. It's, mm -hmm. So like every now and again when I write something kind of like I think is kind of like off and weird, even though it's to me I think it's normal, there's times I'll forget stuff like that. But for the majority of the time I usually remember all my stuff. And if there's something I don't want to forget, like I did the day I actually came up with something and I'm like I just shot it to them, like, hey this here's an idea. And like I just randomly came up with it. So But I tend to usually record a lot of stuff. Like especially me and him back in the day when he used to play guitar, we used to write so much music. Mm -hmm. A ton. I still have it too. So you just record yourself playing and play it over and over 
right? Oh, uh, pretty much. Or at least I get like a good loop of whatever I came up with. Mm -hmm. So then I don't forget it. I can always just put it in the bank and then eventually just revisit it and maybe just go on with it. And some of the times like you'll find spots where, where we've written a completely different song and then I'll say, oh wait, I got this riff. Like, oh, I could put this here and then just mm -hmm. kind of just plug in and play and be able to use it that way. something you wanted to say? Uh, sure. So, <laughs> Zach, Zach, how do you write your lyrics and stuff and your vocal notes? That, that's the interesting story. <laughs> uh, oh, he that, knows some oh, yeah. in, insider <laughs> info. How many people are going to listen to this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your story. Your wife. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 <It's crap. laughs> um, I write my lyrics in the, in the shower. I, I write my lyrics and melodies all in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> all everything I've ever written has been in in my shower. <laughs> That's where he gets the best thinking time. I'm so, I thought it was on the toilet. But no, it's in the shower. shower. Okay. Yeah. I usually shower after the toilet. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I well, must know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to know that, but that's good. <laughs> Somebody needs to invent that notepad in the shower because so many good ideas come in the shower. It's not absolutely. just you, so many other yeah. people. That's, that's where people do their best thinking. Right. I absolutely do. In the shower. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> I, got, I got a picture of my mentor in the shower to kind of keep it up in the corner. And uh, whenever Andy shakes his beard, I have to take a new picture. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, but Zach likes to bring his he'll come up with vocal melodies and usually he'll have two or three sometimes and he'll bring them here and say hey I have a couple ideas let's let me go over it so he'll like sing them to us and then we're like yeah that one's good I didn't like that one whatever and then we just sort of like the song that you like that went through 17 iterations of oh, man. different vocal wow, melodies yeah. and wow. like the one that I liked he was like he liked it at first and he's like he came in one day he's like no I'm not going to do that anymore like, I'm like, I got something <laughs> better so it, it just keeps happening like that where yeah so uh, even some of the times I'll actually like write guitar melodies so it helps him with like a melody because he can't figure out so I can't figure out a melody here like uh, actually the part right before going into the bridge of a uh, of the third law I actually played that on guitar and then he started uh, singing yeah. it yeah that perfect mm -hmm. simple part yeah yeah that was good <laughs> yeah so what he's saying help me translate <laughs> so there's a part of this there's a part of the song doesn't really matter which part but where sometimes Zach is struggling so what Lou will do is we'll play the we'll play the track behind us and Lou will just sort of solo over it if you want to call it like a guitar solo but it's he's creating a melody on a single string that then Zach will take and as the idea of the vocal melody to turn it into a vocal melody so yeah it's more of like, like oh a, that was cool that works with the key mm -hmm. of the song or whatever yeah. it is and then Zach will take that yeah. yeah, even if it's not like verbatim whatever I play, because even then I'm just kind of just riffing at that time, but at least there'll be some kind of catalyst, like, oh, there's an idea, and then you could just go, because even for like musicians half the time, like something tiny, something small, can you get inspiration from and just, mm -hmm. I mean, there's times we've written songs where like, hey, let's write a song like this band, and then five to ten minutes later, there's a song done, or like an hour or whatever. Wow, that's, so. that's magic. I know. <laughs> that's fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. So when did you decide that, because we're all about the biggest, the most important part is when you decide. You can play around with the idea of what you want for so long, but it's when you decide to do it is when the magic happens. So when did you guys decide that you wanted to be rock stars? 2016, Warped Tour. Oh yeah? First time doing, I saw Under Oath on stage and I was like, I'm doing this for the rest of my life. Wow. I don't care if I get paid or not. I I need to do it. And since then, I've been doing it pretty much every day, every week. Yeah. I mean, we spend <laughs> at least an hour a day messing with our set on Ableton or something. So I, I dedicate as much time to this project, to this, to this, I don't even know what it is. This is just a lifestyle now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 2016. Wow. Summer. Warped Tour. Great. Nice. Yeah. For me, I think it was like um, 2005, 2006. It wasn't even necessarily like, oh, I'm going to be a rock star and blah, blah, blah. But more of anything, I was just like, I love to play music. Like, I've always loved to play music. And um, when I first started actually like enjoying the stage, because at first when I played on stage, I kind of stayed in the box. 
and just kind of played my instrument and like I was very like because I'm very shy anyways like I'm really not I never got nervous I just didn't move around much and I just kind of stayed in one spot and there was just I forgot what show it was but years ago like when I was playing I'm like oh, screw it you know I'm just gonna go nuts and when I did it like it was so much fun like I was just like all over the place and I'm like I'm gonna keep doing this this is this makes it fun for me now like even though like we're there to perform for the people out in front it's like yeah like i want them to have fun and enjoy but at the same time i'm have fun too even if i fuck up notes here and there or whatever screw it i'm just gonna go nuts i mean there was a point in time where i'd just be running in circles just not like paying attention me and zach you should play <laughs> one-handed and play rock paper scissors in the middle oh of our set God, yes. we great. used to do a whole bunch of stuff like that so for me it was just like i just love playing on stage i love playing music you know presenting whatever we created and see people jammed with it make people move mm -hmm. for me it was just always been just playing on stage and just music in general it's awesome yeah. awesome awesome i think that's yeah. what makes it fun for me when i can see that everybody else is having fun when you're dancing around and you're enjoying yeah. the music right then that's it's contagious what like. that's what i like yeah and exactly yeah. it's contagious it's like if you're just up there just kind of standing playing your instrument like you're up there performing put a performance on like mm -hmm. don't just i mean they want to hear your music you can buy their cd you can go <laughs> yeah, on the right. spotify or wherever you want to go mm -hmm. to get their stuff but yeah, you can go to spotify type in share of the moon <laughs> you can do that <laughs> or, or apple or itunes shameless plug <laughs> that's why we're here <laughs> don't forget share of the moon spotify or apple or anywhere <laughs> you want the experience yes absolutely <laughs> All right, how about you? Can you repeat the question? <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> when did you decide you wanted to be a rock star? Uh, always. I don't, know. Uh, I don't know if I ever thought I wanted to be a rock star necessarily. Maybe when I was two, two or three years old, I watched Kiss on TV. I was like, that's so I don't even like kids. Their music sucks, but yes. uh, <laughs> but like the theatrics of it was amazing, and uh, that, and then I wanted to play drums after that. Um, so and then in high school, of course, playing with my band, I thought for sure we were gonna make it. They always do. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of your band? Your high school band? Is it, are you setting me up here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. We were called uh, the Living Dead Beavers. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went by LBD, but um, yeah, we had a great time. We were like a kind of a fun joke band, but metal. You know, no. so it was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, and then I don't know. Like uh, when I got with these guys, honestly, I played in, I played in a couple bands in Vegas over the year, over the last I'd say eleven years, maybe when I got back into drums, which was late two thousand. And uh, various projects. Some of it was okay, but never really. I didn't like love it. Some of it was just passing the time. And, you know yeah, I mean? we actually played a show with him in another band while we were in another band. Yeah, and we didn't know each other. Yeah, I, I remember them, but I barely. I remember doing a show with them. Right, they crashed it. They're one of their old bands. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I remember because I remember Zach being on guitar and he was pretty good. And I'm like, oh, I just remember what noticing him or whatever. Anyways, he's very attractive. He's very attractive. <laughs> Fuck me. That's okay. <laughs> you have a very plain face. Just, <laughs> just my fucking face. That's I'm fine. Um, but uh, yeah, so, and then when I played with these guys and I, we got to the studio when I auditioned for them, I'm like, I know I know you guys from somewhere. Like, I've seen your faces before. And then it hit me like probably a week later or something. Like, oh, I played with you guys before. And they don't remember me at all. But my, that band sucks, so you wouldn't remember. Right. Um, which was uh, third degree, if you remember that. Yeah, we're, we're shit. But, um, but when I got with these guys a couple of years ago, I was like, it just like clicked. I was like, this is really good. And especially once we switched over to the, to the heavier music, which is more my style. I was like, this really is awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. So, um, so then I was like, I want to put a lot into this uh, project, as you call it. And Zach recently said something similar. Like, um, we're all in on this one. You know, like, Mm. We've invested a crap ton of money and time and effort <laughs> into yep. making this thing uh, kick off, you know. And uh, I think we're all really enjoying where it's going. So, and I, I don't know if I've had that since high school, <coughs> where you have that kind of click with a group of people that really works, you know. And that was also part of why we didn't find a singer. We were like, do we really want to bring up? There's a risk if we bring in somebody else, and it just gets ruined. 
when you have right. a pressure ripple. So, uh, we got strong triangle right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but now, now, uh, you know, we did this latest recording. I was pushing for, I, wanted, I was the one that wanted to do the music video. I was like, you've got to go for it here. Like, I'm getting old. This is my last chance. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I, my, my back isn't what it used to be. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sitting on the drum set, you know? So, uh, yeah, so I was like, let's go for it. We had we got lucky with a really good recording. Like, the, the guy that records this is uh, really good. Mm -hmm. So, we just like, let's go for it. Man. And, you know, we have our, that wasn't intentional, the follow your bliss poster, you know, exactly. Like, but it's significant to like how we feel about this project. You know, is this is we have a great time here and uh, really get a lot out. You know, when we play. So <clears throat> I was here for a practice once and I had to take a photo of all of you with that sign. No. I thought it was perfect. It was perfect. So you're all friends. Not just you don't just play music together. You're friends too. Yeah. Every now and again, when we yeah, get together, go on every once in a while. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go out much. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to get Zach to socialize. <laughs> I don't like people. <laughs> I'm a hermit. Yeah, yeah. We we got him over to lose once to play video games. I think. And that was yeah. Fun. <laughs> but uh, I mean, hey, if you tell me to go over to like, hey, we're jamming to lose, I'm like, I'm there, dude. Let's do it. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna go hang out. Like, oh uh, yeah. I'll, <laughs> I'm on my make it out. <laughs> are, you, are you on the work? <laughs> it's weird though. If you, if you throw music in, I'm, I'm right there. I'm gonna yeah. make stuff happen. So what do you do for work? Oh, like my day job? Mm -hmm. I spend most of my time thinking of melodies and lyrics at my day job. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. I'm dead serious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I seriously do. I work for a, a, a plumbing warehouse supply. Pays the bills in the day. Yeah. But I spend a whole lot of that time thinking about here. <laughs> yeah, because Zach spends a lot of time. We're always joking around him because, like, we'll be like, it's sort of hard to explain, but I'll be like, have you seen this show? Because this is kind of a look up. I'm thinking we could go with. He's like, I don't watch TV. I, don't. I was like, have you seen this movie? Have you seen this? He's like, no. All I do is work on our stuff, oh, like wow. all the equipment and stuff. Like, Seriously, you never like watch TV or anything? He's like, no, <laughs> don't. He's like, like oh, all I was thinking about the this. wife has to pull me aside and be like, all right, we're gonna spend some time together. Mm. So put YouTube down, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do something. Like, okay, I'll stop. And about ten minutes after that, I'm like, all right. So if I control the automation lane <laughs> with, with this one, and then I hook up, I, I cross train this one. And then I put that, hey, what do you think about that five note pad? She's like, we're having date night. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Is she a musician? musician no, she's not. But she, she understands. She's, she understands she's really the lingo. <laughs> yeah, she's cool with it. Thank you. <laughs> if you're listening. <laughs> well, I hear you talking about, you were talking about like the lights and everything. So you're planning something. Oh, yeah, the lights. For the show. Fun. But you have a show coming up in March, I hear. I hope I'm ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> got, got a whole lot to do before March. Yeah. This, they wow. have a show in March, and it's going to be on First Friday downtown. Oh, wow. Well, it's a Saturday, I believe, but it's that weekend. Oh, yeah. Well, That's it's that weekend. weekend, so. Ooh. The timing nice. of that is amazing. That's going to be probably good. I didn't even realize it when I booked it. <laughs> <laughs> Just got lucky, I guess. Nice. But yes, yeah, so we have a whole thing planned. We, I don't know if you were there. Maybe you were, but when, in our other band, Zach was always working on lights and stuff. You see these two boxes we went in. We were, they're, they're actually lights that these guys can stand on and it shoots lights up from underneath. Oh. Them. Yeah. We used it in a couple shows in the other band, and uh, but he was always working. He built this like PVC thing. Yeah. That PVC held our banner. Banner and it had like lights and it would like white lights that shot up and it was super cool. We used it for like one show, I think, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but then it like fell apart, it was all PVC and stuff. But he's always working on like creative ways to like get the stuff together. <laughs> but now he's actually buying stuff, like real stuff. <laughs> Learning how to use it and all that. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 pretty cool. It's wild. But uh yeah, he's got a whole plan. You were telling he has a vision. He's very strongly working on this vision. Driven by the vision. Mm -hmm. Which is important. Yeah. Inspiration, obviously. He's very inspired. So do you guys have a place that you play at, or how, how do, can people see you? 
They can come here and hang out on Tuesdays <laughs> and Thursdays. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that couch is kind of comfy for an hour or so at least. <laughs> no, we're still working on like shows, or at least trying to get shows booked right now. But um, How do you yeah. do that? Well, who do you talk to? We, I talk to this guy. Uh, yeah, no, we're figuring that out as we go. Um, none of us are particularly social and or hang out in the scene. So... We're, event, we're gonna start going out to shows and kind of like mingle a little bit to try to because you kind of just have to get yourself out there just kind of back into the scene yeah. and then it's and it's out here is always about who you know so if you know somebody who knows somebody then you'd yeah. probably be able to figure something out for sure right so it's we it's guerrilla marketing we've been just contacting people i've been throwing our stuff out to people on the internet and stuff and uh <laughs> trying to get like reviews of our music and whatever um but then just emailing and contacting people hey you know i think the show we booked i know a guy that was playing one of the bands so i asked him you know hey do you need anybody else and somehow it worked out so oh, yeah it's just like knowing people and making connections and stuff like that so um but yeah we that's the only show we have planned we've never actually played live in this iteration yeah. uh, this group has played live previous band with the girl singer we've done that quite a few times but this new music has never been seen oh that's exciting uh, though it's well you've seen it <laughs> <laughs> you were she was an audience here this on the couch on the couch this yeah. couch audience <laughs> yeah. and it is very this comfy. high ticket high yes. ticket yes. <laughs> yes. Seat, very good. Seat. zach yes. brings his family every once in a while his mother will show up or yeah, yeah, the wife and friends. daughters show up every once in a while or something yeah. Yeah. so the wagner stop by one that's right we put on a show for them <laughs> so yeah but we're we have a lot planned and it's like uh, we actually want to do a test show where we actually bring take everything apart bring it somewhere put it all up do it for just like 20 of our friends just for the sake of going through it and getting the mistakes mm -hmm. worked out yeah because it's going to go wrong we're sure yeah so we have some plans for the, to do that maybe in the winter time potentially so but yeah it's a lot of us not knowing what we're doing and just trying to figure it out I love that. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it's, it's a practice. You're just practicing the, you know. Yeah, just a good old trial run. Yeah. Just to see how well, it that's goes. how you figure it out. Mm -hmm. So, that's awesome. So this tells a story. You, know, you just put out three songs. So you have some others you're working on. Do you are you just planning on putting them out like threes, threes? That's not a bad idea. Like Star Wars. <laughs> could we put out trilogies? Trilogies. <laughs> we could. Oh, we need to write one more. Yeah, we have so do you already more. know the story and then you're writing the songs or I know the story. Correct, yeah. So, yeah. Oh. so yeah, so we have a story that kind of like laid out and then each song kind of like pertains to a certain point in the story. Oh nice. Yeah, so you see it on the wall behind us. We plan there's a lot you can see sort of over here got like the song is supposed to be about this part of the story and it, it's a loose thing it's not all super tight but it was originally super tight and we changed everything yeah <laughs> but uh so we had originally 10 songs i think written at some point and then we ended up cutting a couple because we didn't like them so yeah um but we still have you can see over here i think like we have our board that tells us the music's written are the oh. lyrics done yet so, now these are not the names no these are because the i know sarah titles. Yeah, it's not. But Sarah it's not anymore. Sarah. No, it's, called, <laughs> like, it's now the third law. But uh, that's because we didn't have lyrics, and we just, we just, because we just pick random names. I don't even know where they come from. Yeah. Sarah was because the drum beat kind of sounds like the Terminator. Terminator. Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor. So we, that's what I named him. Terminator. Yeah, the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had one of the songs used to be called Thunderlord. It's now called uh, Slipstream. Right? Slipstream. Slip I always do that. <laughs> but that Where was your song. <laughs> I do, we were like, uh, what are we gonna call this? And I picked it was a, it's a video game, it's a gun in a video game. I was like, let's call it Thunderlord because it's a heavy song, and that's so we use that. It's not the something name anymore, but that's what it was. Uh, and I have no idea where Adrenaline Punch came from. I think that was just something that sounded cool. Yeah, it's something we named like it was a riff me and Zach wrote a long time ago, and we just thought Adrenaline Punch because it's very fast-paced type of song, and it was always been like super short. I mean, that song's what barely two minutes, something like that. Two and a half, I think. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of just kind of just came up that way. Uh, so we originally had all the music written because we had no singer. We just wrote songs. We had like ten, and we decided to make a, a story out of it. So we wrote all the ideas of the story. The whole story concept is done, 
and then we started applying lyrics to it and what order we're going to put them in and stuff at the very end, basically. So that's the hard part. So, yeah. and then, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So yeah, it's very cool. It's I like fun. that. So you have three songs right now. What are the real names of the three songs now? <laughs> we got Slip Space. We have The Third Law, which is your favorite. Mm -hmm. And then there is... Art, the Art of the Steel. Art of the Steel. So are, is that the order they go in? Because it tells a story? They no. go in an order? No. No. They, they will when it's all said and done. Oh, so we're cutting right in the middle of the story? Yes. Yeah. You are, like a, you are Star Wars. <laughs> like a Tarantino effect. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like you're getting, there's going to be backstory later. Okay. Intentionally. Yeah. So we wanted to start like in the action part of the, of the story and then go back and mm -hmm. tell you how we got there. Kind of nice. So keep them, keep them in. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> little, little mystery never hurt. Right. <laughs> so you can find your music on Spotify and Apple Music and YouTube. YouTube yeah. or Vimeo. Go watch the video on YouTube. We're on SoundCloud. Like Sound. No. Are we? Yeah. I can't remember. We should be. <laughs> uh, we're, on yeah, we're, everything. Everything. we're on all the things. We're on all the things. All the things. <laughs> all Amazon. Things. Shatter the moon. Yeah. Check them out. That's right. Okay. The best fan in Vegas. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thanks for having us. Yeah. No Thank you. problem. It's great. It's a pleasure meeting all of you. I mean, Likewise. Anyways. <laughs> and, and we wish you luck with your Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm down to play. Yes. <laughs> what song should we have on play? Do the stuff. New shoes. Mm -hmm. New shoes? <laughs> you choose. Oh, you choose. <laughs> you, know you don't know. You know what I'm going to pick. I know Drew. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play it just for you. Yeah. <laughs> Could it be so dead?